Yeah, and you need people that are that are that are bright and intelligent, but you know, people who are hardworking and know how to work with people, and th those kind of pe having those kind of people on a team is just as critical as having three rocket scientists, right? BusinessJournalDaily.com. Three minutes with is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Who's the only local bank with a mobile mortgage app? Farmers. Download the app to contact your lender, calculate payments, securely scan and upload documents, and check the status of your loan. Fiercely local, fiercely loyal, farmers. It's interesting talking about the team of being a good teammate because there really there are no courses you take in school, right? That say here's what it takes to be a good teammate, right? Yep. Um, and you know every job the every job description you look at these days. One of the things it says on there is ability to work in teams yep. or being a good teammate, but it never says much more than that. Right. And you know you often wonder what. So what are people looking for on your resume when they interview you that demonstrates that you can be a really good teammate? Um, and you know I look back on my career. I started learning it early on from my parents, and particularly from my dad, who had been a coach. You know, who always reinforce the importance of being part of the team and helping the team in any way you can and being successful and things like that. Uh, but also just being a good teammate. When someone's down, how do you pick them up? There's there's more than just, you know, doing doing the best you can for the team. It's also helping your teammates and mm -hmm. and those things. And you know, if you have a good coach, they do that. Sometimes the coaches really emphasize that. Some coaches don't. Uh, in school, you can learn that from teachers because you're often thrown into groups mm -hmm. um, where your team has to make a presentation. Um, some of those aren't long-term things, but they happen over a short period. Uh, can you get into a small group and spend an hour and produce something as a team and not worry about who's getting credit for putting what together? And, and can you figure out quickly on a team who's good at what and how do you do that? And, and I learned over the years in consulting you know, consulting teams projects are usually just a few months long. Most of them, most of them have less than ten people on the team. They often involve people from your company, but also the the client's company. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, getting a group of people who've never worked together. Maybe the people in the company have worked together once or twice, and maybe the people on your team have worked together once. But but really, most of the team don't know each other. But you ha usually have a very significant significant objective that has to be achieved in right. a period of months. Yeah. Right. And so you've got to figure out how do I get these people to work together as a team? And so as I grew in my career and became a partner, you know, that was one of the big things I focused on was how do I make sure I've got the right people on the team? They understand what the objective is. They get to know each other's strengths and weaknesses and how they can support each other because we need to work fast and we can't spend time haggling over who's doing what and who's getting credit. You know, if the team meets their objective, everyone's going to be a big winner here. The company's going to be a big winner. The, our firm's going to be a big winner, et cetera. Um, so you learn pretty quickly how to, how to recognize what you have on the team. And I've learned over time that there are certain things that you, you have to have on the team. Not everyone is going to have all of those things, but you need to have them on the team and uh, for them to be able to gel and work together. Otherwise, if you have, for example, if you have 10 people with huge egos, uh, that becomes a problem right away. Um, the, the team, they don't trust each other, et cetera. Right? So you, you need to figure out, okay, tell people, hey, you got to check your ego at the door here. You know, this isn't about you. It's about getting the company, solving this issue that the company has and getting from... Yep. from point A to point B. And, and then, you know, uh, you, you want to make sure that you've got people who are hardworking, um, have a lot of desire, uh, sort of type A personalities who are going to go out there and get things done. And when something isn't getting done, they're going to take it on, they're going to do it. I mean, I've learned over the years, one of the things I loved about being in consulting, most of the people you hired, you didn't have to tell them you, you're, you have to work 80 hours a week or 90 hours a week. Right. They were going to work 80 or 90 hours a week whether you told them or not. Yep. <laughs> you know? yep. Yep. And those people you could recognize pretty quickly. They're going to do what it takes to make the project successful, to make the team successful. And so the more of those kind of people you can have on a team, yeah, and you need people that are that are that are bright and intelligent, but you know, people who are hardworking and know how to work with people and th those kind of people having those kind of people on a team is just as critical as having three rocket scientists, right? Businessjournaldaily.com. Three minutes with is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. Who's the only local bank with a mobile mortgage app? Farmers. Download the app to contact your lender, calculate payments, securely scan and upload documents, and check the status of your loan. Fiercely local, fiercely loyal farmers.